Converting customer units of measure. Before you can convert customer units, you need to have an idea in your head of each measure. A large gallon of milk, we would abbreviate as a gallon. The tall skinny milk is usually a quart. The smaller, about half that size, is a pint. A cup is about how much fits in a teacup. And a fluid ounce is several uh, tablespoons of water. Four times around a track is a mile. The height of a doorknob is a yard. A little longer than the length of a paper is a foot. And the length of a small paper clip is about an inch. A slice of bread is about an ounce. 16 ounces makes a pound, which is about the size of a loaf of bread. To convert, you, can, you have several options. If you wanted to convert six gallons to quarts, you could set up a proportion. Gallons to quarts, you know there's one gallon is equivalent to four quarts. We know we have six gallons and we're trying to figure out how many quarts. You can cross multiply or you can use equivalent fractions. You can use equivalent fractions here, you get 24. So we know four times six is 24, 24 quarts and six gallons. Now once you know your relationships, you can also use the little phrase big to small multiply, small to big divide. In this case, we're going from gallons, which is bigger, to quarts, which is smaller. So in this case, we go from big to small, and we're going to multiply six gallons times our relationship, which is four, four quarts, gives us 24 quarts. In the same way, we could convert 50 ounces to blank pounds. We could set up a proportion, ounces to pounds, you can remember that there are 16 ounces in a pound because LB for pound looks like the number 16. So 16 ounces to one pound equals 50 ounces, and we're trying to figure out X would be how many pounds. In this case, you could not use equivalent fractions, but you could cross multiply. 50 equals 16X. Bring those down, set them equal to each other. I'm going to isolate our variable. So we would need to divide by 16 on both sides, divide by 16 here, <coughs> and we get x equals, now you'll have to go out and divide it, 15, excuse me, 50, divided by 16, goes in 3 times, subtracting down and you get a 2. You have 3 pounds, because it fits in 3 times, and you have 2 sixteenths left over, 2 out of 16, 2 ounces, so 3 pounds. Two ounces. In the same way, you could use big to small, small to big. We are going from small ounces to the larger loaf to the pounds. So we're going from small to big. We should divide. That tells us take what we have, 50, divide it by our relationship, which is 16. And again, we do 50 divided by 16, and we will get 3 with 2 ounces left over, 3 pounds, 2 ounces. Sometimes you just have a chart and you can look them up. These are better to memorize. Let's say we're doing 3 cups with 5 fluid ounces and we're changing it all to fluid ounces. In this case, we're going from cups, which are bigger, to fluid ounces, which are smaller. So big to small, we're going to multiply 3 times 8. There's 8, ounces, eight fluid ounces in a cup. 3 times 8 is 24, and then don't forget to add back in your extra 5 fluid ounces right here, that's what most people forget, equals 29, so 29 fluid ounces.